Welcome back, this is Chaotic Law, and this is Super Metroid Randomizer with Project Base version 0.6. This is the third part now. Right, where were we? Still in the wrecked ship, so I guess we'll be taking our leave from now. We'll be leaving. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing alright as well. Oh, <laughs> spiking room. Troubles of any speedrunner is through that room. For some reason. One day I'll practice. Otherwise, you'll be fine and. There we go. And into this room, which normally uses a variety of jumping and. energy tank. But instead of having to go through all that trouble of using the grappling blocks. You just jump over the entire thing. Fall into the electricity. Fail. And we're outside again. Not much here. Other than we can pretty much blast for everything. And this, we should be on our way to Meridia now. And there we'll fight Dragon, Ridley. And then that's that. This maze. Hm, <laughs> didn't even open that area. Oh well. <laughs> Got sick of waiting. Ah, nope, that didn't work. We can just run through here, I guess. Bow bomb through. And now we reach the elevator. Now, what were we doing last time? Um, ah, we missed one of the few sections, I think, when it came to getting the items. I, at least I think that's the case. I think I might have to check that. Through this room. <laughs> Just blasting through everything. I can't remember if there was anything in this room. I don't think there was. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. I also don't really care too much about it, really. I'll just check back once I'm done with Dragon. Down this little pipe, which is a room of its own. Free here, uh, high speed. Free here. And we're back to more familiar ground. Again. Technically, we could take on Ridley right now, but. Meh. I want to see what item in the plasma room would have to offer us. Up through the room again. Don't even need to do this. And across here. Grab some energy, and stock up again. We 
we can head down after we're done with Dragon. And then, yes, yeah, Moctroids here. Not that they're hard to deal with at all, still. <laughs> shoot through here. Space eyes are off right now, so we just have to shoot everything individually. And now, our next mini boss. Missing. Ah, can't waste too much ammo. Just keep hitting him. Oh, moving faster now. Keep missing though, when I need to hit him. There we go. That wasn't too hard. And now we grab some more items. Whoops. It's not an energy tank though, it's just a missile. Just kill all these guys, so we can just charge across here. Free here. Oh, didn't charge it up in time. Oh well. Because you can actually jump through this room at really high speed if you have the shine spark done. But it's, you really have to get it pixel precise from what I've heard. So, yeah. And this is the room just before Dragon. So I guess we'll be going a little further after we're done with him. Get that gradle out of the way. Whoops, missed that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we can charge up our shine spark in this room without too much issue. We also don't have charge beam or anything, so I guess we'll just be doing the old grappling beam trick, which is essentially just using the broken electric openings to zap Dragon. Just keep holding it until it dies. He's gone now. Just smoldering away. And that should be that. And instead of space jump, we get spring ball. <laughs> well, easier jump at least. In ball form. And we're out of here. Now to go and check out the plasma beam room. Take our shortcut back through to the main room. Oh, but I can't do that either because I have to check out the other items. So I guess we'll be heading back this way. That wasn't 
the way to do it. And back we go. Oh yeah, with Spring Ball, you can charge up a shine. You can charge up a speed booster in this form. Of course, we're going down this hole now. And missiles. And one of these maze look like things. Which isn't that hard to do. And this is just another way around. Which doesn't really do anything. Oh well, guess we're going down. I said we we're going down. Uh, where is the way down this thing? Maybe it's somewhere around here. There we go. Ow. Right. Which one is the way out? This one. Yes. Good thing we still have a few super missiles left, and we also collected them all. Just score attack through there. Past these guys, which is still easy to do. And now we're here. And the major item we have after getting rid of this guy is Wave Beam. Well, we have most of what we need to take on most of the guys around here. As well as in everywhere else. Now I can leave. So Wave Beam is pretty alright. Just leave the room and head down. Well, Dragon provided us with something useful. Can't tell where I'm supposed to be going next. I think I might do a little bit of more item collecting before I head on down to Ridley. Yes, I believe that was the plan. So let's head back this way. No, that's just where we come from, if we fall, get stuck in the quicksand. So back this way we go. Uh, I used to get lost so much back when I was first playing this game, which is like five, six years ago. It's still pretty recent, even though it is quite a long time ago. And just hop back down through here and head back out again <laughs> and waste another super missile. So I guess we'll be head back to Brinstar and grab any extra items and kill a spore spawn because why not? Quick way out. And free here. Free this doorway. Get, get, that, get stuck in that guy. These side hoppers. Back up into another section of Grey Brinster. Get ready to get past these guys. Through here. 
and you just like, kill him with a fast screw attack. Wave beam through that gate. Get through that door on the other side. And get some super missiles. Pop me up. Just leave this room. Now back here. I didn't go past this point because I had pretty low health at the time, but now we can go through here without too much trouble. And even jump on a few spikes while I'm at it. Missiles! And out we go the other side. That's that. Now let's take on the spore spawn, because why not? <laughs> and plus we'll be able to defeat it pretty quickly. And I can virtually jump for anything now that I have this. Oh! Bomb him. I guess I should restock up on some more super missiles. I don't think I'll be getting them from these flying guys. So I guess I'll just mash, spam a whole bunch of missiles. Or I could just leave. Man, I'm really off my aim. Oh yeah, sports bombs has been tweaked a little bit to just enable us to shoot more. And that is Force Ball. Hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time with it, but hey, at least we get another item. Another super missile. Yes, in certain cases, the items, items will be fixed. For the sake of not breaking the game entirely. Now let's head down here. And get this door open. Ah, this guy gets in the way. Charge through there, and get another energy tank. Now let's just move on into Gold Brinstar. Which is one that we saw back at the very start with the Morph Ball. Leap through and we're back here, I guess. Get that door open. Energy tank. Yeah, now it's perfectly a good time to get more and more energy tanks. That's almost everything. Okay. Get rid of these guys. And grab ourselves another energy tank. We're almost full now. The invisible platform has been removed and just replaced with visible ones. Super missiles, yeah. Grappling beam, yeah, even better. Just hop through these guys and back we go. Except we're going back to Criteria instead. How about that? Super ball ma power ball my way out. Not sure why I said tried to say super ball. It doesn't even sound right. 
up the elevator. Go grab a few more items before we head back down again. And go down here and receive more missiles. Ugh. These gaps are really annoying when you're trying to spin jump. Huh, invulnerable to regular bombs, huh? Well. Don't even need to freeze them. Energy tank! Yay, we have almost all of them. We have pretty much all of them if it were a typical game. And whoops, I just fell all the way back down again. <laughs> the disadvantages of short charge. Not that it matters, we can just jump right through here again. Oh, messed it up again because I charged too soon. <laughs> This has got to happen a lot, isn't it? Through there. There we go. It wasn't even that huge of a gap and I still did it anyway. Back up here again. It's been quite a while since we were last here at the surface. Head through here and grab some more items. And we enter the place sometimes known as the Gauntlet. Which generally only is if, well, you're not like me and you have oh, pretty much everything at this stage. Just jump past all this stuff through here. And here. Get in the center. Okay. Shoot these open. Grab super missiles. More super missiles. Oh, nearly hit an enemy there. Now we just head back to our ship again. Past these guys again. And let's see what's up in the corner. Super missiles. Right. I guess next time we'll head down to North End. Get Ridley. Yeah, I think that'll do it. 85 missiles, 95 super missiles, 75 power bombs, and 1,499 energy and 4 reserve tanks. This is part 3 of Super Metroid Randomizer with Project Base version 0.6. I'm Chaotic Law, and until next time, take care everyone.